story. Um, my brother's Trooper Nicholas Dees, who died on January 31st of this past year, from a guy who was uh, texting and driving, actually updating Facebook status. Um, when this guy left Fort Smith, Arkansas, on his phone every 42 seconds was an incoming or outgoing message until he killed my brother. Um, I know some of you people, I grew up around Rattan, spent, spent time in good water. Um, you guys have a tradition to uh, carry on, so pay attention to what these guys have to say, it's really important. We appreciate it. I have Trooper Jay Jefferson come up. Thank you. I've got to stand down here. I'm scared of heights. Not really. Uh, I'm Joe Jefferson, state trooper down here in McCurtain County. And uh, what we're everybody's been having a good time today. Kids are swimming and the weather's let up a little bit. You know, it's fixing to rain, but that's, that's fine. Somebody needs rain somewhere. What Mr. Dees has got through talking about, we're going to touch on just a little bit. I know I spoke with y'all before at the safety camp earlier and had a good time then. Um, on January 31st of, of this year, uh, I, if, if you don't know, if you never heard me speak before, I refer to people in law enforcement as brothers and sisters. Um, and the Highway Patrol would really take that really serious. Uh, on January 31st, my brother, Trooper Nicholas Dees, badge number 731, was working an accident on I-40, which is just east of Oklahoma City, and he got called to a semi-rollover, and it's a basic semi-rollover. We get troopers get called to all the time. He shows up, and uh, he's got a partner coming in from the other side, and they're going to work this accident together. We, uh, deputies show up and they have pretty much the, the roadway is, is marked with lights. Uh, people driving on the Interstate 40 can tell it's an accident. So they're slowing down and they're diverting traffic and Trooper Dees is up working the wreck. And, and looking at video camera, all of a sudden here comes a car. Boom. And it hits Trooper Dees and he dies on impact. And now we've got multiple wrecks to work because the other partner, uh, Keith Birch, was also injured also and suffered a lot of uh, damage to it. Matter of fact, he's still off work and he's fighting to come back. He's a young man and I have hopes that he's gonna come back, heal up and everything. But Trooper Dees uh, was killed on impact. When we did the investigation, we started looking at the causations for what happened and we found out the driver that hit Trooper D's was updating his social media network. He had his phone out, texting and driving. And you see it day in, day out, every day. I know you guys have seen it already. Somebody's cut you off or somebody pulls across the center or something like that and you look at them and they're doing one of these. Well, he was doing that and he hit my brother and left behind beautiful family. So what we're gonna do today, we try to bring awareness Okay, we've got a program up, move over Oklahoma now. We have a law that's gone in effect. November the 1st will go in effect, makes it against the law to text and drive for everybody. We had a law texting and driving now, but it was to uh, kids that were eight, uh, under 18 years old. They couldn't be doing any kind of uh, tele telecommunication by phone. Since this has happened, there's been a lot of accidents involving distracted driving. The legislators seen it in their, in their mind to establish laws on the, on, with the help of the Dees family to get this law passed. So November the 1st makes it a misdemeanor offense to get caught texting and driving. And uh, I'm not sure what the fine is. I know the lowest Oklahoma fine is $188.50. I'm going to think that it's probably close to 200 on this one. But uh, we're going to bring just try to bring awareness. Barry has been going around to different schools and uh, talking to all the kids and everything. And believe you me, I mean, it's a world of, of, of telecommunication, isn't it? We have Blackberries and emails going in and out on our daily job. And sometimes people think that it's hard to just get away from that and drive. But you can do that. 
It doesn't take a second for just somebody to get her eyes off the steering wheel, look down, check a text, and all of a sudden you're three or four foot left to center. And if you're three or four foot left to center, and here comes a family of five coming down there, you've got a recipe for some bad things to happen. And one of the things that I've, you've heard me say over and over is that I, I love my job. I love doing my job. This right here coming out, talking to young people like this, is especially great for me. The worst thing that I hate doing, and I've done it many, many times, is notify next of kin. And troopers do that. And it's a job I, I, I don't want to do. But I'll tell you one thing, uh, I'll do it again. Somewhere somebody will choose to text and drive and hurt somebody or kill somebody. And they'll put it in my hands to go tell somebody's mama, somebody's dad, somebody's husband, or somebody's wife, and say, your loved one is not coming home tonight. So if you're a single parent and you know your child has been injured or killed in an accident, imagine what that would do to you. Imagine as parents, imagine as a husband or a wife to lose somebody that you really depend on, that your whole life, and all of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, it's gone because somebody chose to text and drive or do a little distracted driving, even drinking and driving. We have that quite prevalent now. We're starting to see in McCurtain County alone, we're starting to see an increase of accidents. You've probably seen it in the paper. It seems like I'm getting called to roll over accidents all the time. And a lot of it is drinking, alcohol, a lot of it is distracted driving, okay? But that's what we want to talk to you guys today about. You know, it's, it's very, very serious and we take it very, very serious. Um, Troopers and officers work in accidents or even directing traffic, even DOT workers. Record, I've seen record drivers get hit before too. It didn't take a minute for somebody to turn their back on traffic and then they're struck for some reason or another. And mostly it's distracted, distracted driving. So please, when you're driving and you have your cell phone up there, please take time to stop, pull off the road. If you need to check your message, then check your message in. If not, let it go. You know, a lot of people have uh, what is a enhanced where you can you can push a button or it just answers automatically while you're driving. You can talk. That is still distracted driving because your mind is talking on it's, it's concentrated on your conversation and you're really not looking. You're thinking about what your conversation is. So even the the they make it easy to, to try to do that, but all we're asking you is pull off a little bit or, or wait five minutes till you get your destination, then check your messages. That's all we're asking. But I believe you, in November 1st, you'll see an increase of, of law enforcement and troopers, local city police officers, probably deputies and everything will go out because we know this law has got some teeth in it now. So we'll be looking out for people texting and driving, okay? I'm going to introduce Daryl Blakely. He's an officer with Idaho Police Department, and he's a supervisor. And uh, I, I've known Nick for a while. I've known him when he was trying to get into the academy, and I taught in his academy. Uh, Daryl knew him a lot better than I did, longer than I did. Matter of fact, they worked together. Nick was an Idaho Police officer for a while. Went for a, he went to the highway patrol. So I'm going to bring Daryl up and everything. Let Daryl say a few words, and I appreciate you guys giving me your time and attention. Thank you.